Okay, so welcome back to Five One Talk Charot. <laughs> welcome to <laughs> welcome. Oh, welcome to Paradise. <laughs> Anyways, everyone, uh, welcome back again to our virtual meeting conference. Uh, I hope that those who are not yet here will be able to join us later uh, while we are having this lecture discussion. So probably we are just going to discuss uh, a little bit shorter than usual. I'll just go with the most important points since we are provided with lots and lots of lecture notes in our Moodle classroom. So I have provided there two first two lecture notes. I will post later uh, the lecture video um, dili lang ako siya ma-post karon kay loading yung kaya siya mag-edit mag, mag ito ko kay mag-tan siya tag 10 minutes. So muna nga dugay kong upload sa uban. Anyways, I will be going over that uh, today. So, any questions before we go to our lecture 5? So today we are on lecture 5. Right? Right, right, right. Am I right? Yes, ma'am. All right, yes, okay. Um, so we are now on lecture five. Any questions first for our previous um, lectures? Oh, where was that? Oh my God, so good. Any questions on um, journalism? Assignments, ma'am. Oh, assignments, ha? Ito ang assignment karun na mong gilagin. Ano naman, ni? Lecture four? Um, I guess, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. I'd like to ask ma'am about the assignment. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, sige, unsaman. <laughs> unsaman. Ang um, sa assignments ma'am ba, pag mo pag mo ingon ka katong infinitive phrase uh, lead, mm -hmm. is it necessary to use uh, kanang uh, to start the lead nga na ay to or mm -hmm. like na na? Yes. Ah, okay. Okay, that's why it's called infinitive okay, because it starts with an infinitive phrase. Or an infinitive word. So, so sa infinitive phrase, ma'am, dili na siya mag, ay, mag kinangnan yun mag-start of two and dili siya necessary mag-start of laing word exact sa two? Naaman tayo laing word for infinitive phrases. Such as on, such as... Ma'am. Mm. Ma'am. So, it's not, okay, it's not necessarily nga two lang siya. Solely sa word nga two. There are other words for infinitive, man. Mm. Sige, ang saman. Yes, kung saan mo itong ma'am, ma'am. Ang saman. Kung saan ito? Atong ang duha ka infinitive, ma'am. Oo, ang saman. Infinitive. Oo. Yes. Atong isa kay, ano siya, na siya sa tunga itong kwan. Infinitive, ma'am. Ang saman, iya ang first word. Atong iPhone... To be friendly, ma'am. Katong sa... Ako ang... Ano sa... Sige. Sa lagi. Pero makabawaan na to. Sige. Ano sa man? Sa imuhang assignment. So, there is... It's not necessarily... Ang... Ang 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 start is infinitive siya. Is that it? Am I getting it correctly? Murag ana siguro ma'am. Naiya ha daw na sa tunga. Murag ana. Back to me. Okay. Oh, di ba dua to ma'am kay infinitive then ang usa kay nasa first then ang pangalawa kay nasa kanang tunga-tunga sa second sentence ma'am. Sa so second sentence. Sa yeah. so second sentence. Ah, you mean in a paragraph, in a lead paragraph, ang to be nga ang infinitive lead is na siya sa second sentence, ana nga paragraph. Am I getting it right? Well, like for example, ang lead mangod, it does not necessarily mean that the lead is just one sentence. It could also be uh, a paragraph. So you mean to say that the infinitive paragraph or the infinitive sentence, which is the star, the star of your infinitive lead is in the second sentence. Am I getting it right? Am I right? Am I wrong? Am I right? Am I right? Am I wrong? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Diba, ma'am, dua man to ang gilikwari. Baka type. Okay. Sige, walay problema na siya. 
go rebels. Basta lang kay ang the start of the sentence, the start of the sentence in a lead, it should be an infinitive. Okay. If if it's okay, not man, if it's not an infinitive word or an infinitive phrase, it would not be, you know, uh, called an infinitive lead. Okay. Okay. All right. So we are uh, we have consumed fifteen minutes. We have twenty five minutes to discuss. Okay. Any questions? Another questions. Another questions. Kaya lang, ma'am, katong, katabi tayong sa identification, ma'am, like, i-identify ko kung sa siya nga kinds of, ano, lead. Kaya lang, okay lang ba, ma'am, kung mga yung isa yung key answer ato, like, kung unsa lang mga correct answers ato niya. Is that the assignment or sa quiz? Yes, ma'am. Itong sa assignment nga, test mo. Okay lang, ma'am, I mean, I don't, ay, okay raman dili diri sa Zoom para ma-cover na to ang next last. Pwede raman siguro if off lang mag-post lang sa GC. Oo. Oh, oh. But uh, okay. here's the here's the trick. I have to wait first for everybody else to submit their assignments before I give the key answers. Yes, ma'am. Thank yes, you. Ma so, so since wala may deadline ma 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 Since wala may deadline ang assignment. Ma <laughs> wala deadline ang assignment chill lang ta chill <laughs> so pwede ka mag magkuan magsubmit <laughs> next year gusto ka pero wala na <laughs> yeah, close lagi ang assignment 2 ma'am unsa it close why is it close it's always oh, open you can always submit anytime wala na close na ko siya uti ko para ma atong ma atong mabuhatag aksyon sa mga problema sa dakbayan <laughs> Sige. Uh, Pwede na mag-send o assignment anytime, ma'am. Kung yun naman kay deadline. So, late na nang late. <gasps> Wala, lagi siya deadline. Diba, <laughs> anong biyaka ko, Anne? Yan ang biyaka ko, Anne? Deadline kaya ang next meeting. Next meeting, o. Oh. Yes. Oo, oh, oh, wala siya deadline. Pero considering the Pero fact... Pero sa model, wala siya time limit. O, oh, wala siya time limit. Nasa nga oras, nasa nga adlaw. As long as... It's it's up to you. It's your it's your responsibility. It's your consent. Ano nga dili magsubmit ana nga before nga next lecture. So nara na ni mo. The Moodle is always open for you to submit. No, okay, okay. That's a problem ang good in online classes. No, kana bitong post nga. We are not learning anymore. We're submitting before eleven fifty nine. That's your fault. Why are you submitting at eleven fifty nine? You should have done it earlier. And have submitted it on the day or before the day of the submission, and not on eleven fifty-nine. Like, for sure, ba? No, it's 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 a stupid. It's a stupid. Uban bito, mom. Ang uban bito, mom. Kay mura ko for compliance na lang ng online. Ang ang ilang fourteen pang good. It's for compliance. True enough. It's for compliance because we don't have any access to assessments like oral recitation, which is kanang instant by instantaneous ng assessment. Wala taan ng mga assessment. Right, so we can just require for activities, for assignments, for quizzes that is to be complied on a certain time or on a certain date. Because wala man tayo yung choice. Isod pong mag one on one ta darig ko ane. Dili po kaganahag one on one kaya wala internet, wala data. Isod ka yun di madunga ng tiyong ni teacher. So asa man may iput ane, di ba? It's so very difficult to be a teacher. Mo na magstrong jo ko anang ko an bitaw na 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 charot lang. Kaya magamagstrong mam kay. Kaya ito man banat banatag English charot bitaw. Bitaw sigi la ay it's part of it's part of the new normal man and we have to embrace it. Only that we have to be understanding. No okay. Ang uban man gyud kay lisod kay comprehension ba ang maguna lang ang kakak din ay lang ang buhat kana bitaw muna akong kalagutan sa tanan so anyways uh oh we're going now to our lecture 5 so for lecture 5 we are going to uh, where am i here this one dako ba siya uh, this one so we are now on lecture 5 and we'll be uh, discussing about writing the news story. So basically, in lectures um, two or three, rather, we have discussed the elements that makes news. So what are the elements? There are, um, of course, information required for the news and so on. 
We also have tackled in a uh, lecture for writing the lead. The lead is actually the star of your news story or your article, any type of article, uh, specifically your news article, because it will be the first thing that your readers will read from your news. Imagine if you're reading a story from um, ABSB News no website, especially nowadays, you can only see a few sentences or a one paragraph and, and a picture of the article. And that's basically the lead of their, um, the lead of their, what you call this, story. So basically that's it. The lead is very important in your new story. So it must contain everything that needs to be known about your uh, about your news or your story or article. So for example, katong that ni uh, Lloyd Cadena, for example, ang gibutang na to, uh, YouTuber, OG YouTuber Lloyd Cadena died today, blah, 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 according to a Facebook post, blah, 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 na, 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 din. Uh, sumpaya to niya, ang next sentence is, uh, um, specific information or uh, cause of that was not mentioned and still remains unknown according to the family of the of the dead. Ano ba? For something like that. So, pagbasa pa lang ni mo itong one sentence, the lead, the paragraph, contains all the information that has to be known. Pero na siya sa ubos. For more information, click aning link. So, it's like, uh, it's like, mo siya ba? For more, for more infos and updates, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Charot. Nga na siya ba? Purag ang lead siya, ang star sa imuhang, um, same Mohang article. So now we are going to. Oh, what is a clickbait? Anna, what is a clickbait? But most likely. Oh, oh. Lahi po just headlines. Uh, lahi po just. Ang headlines manggod mo siya ang clickbait. Pero mangutana manggod ang mga tao. For example, um, um, for example, so, uh, kinsa galitong Pemberton is released in. Uh, released from jail. Muna siyang headlines, title sa article. For example, for example, now uh, in a few more days, muna siya headlines, mind you. Pemberton was released from jail then. Ang, ang lead day niya, mag-discuss siya, on site ka ng information, nga nung kato siyang headline. Ura siya, kuan ba? Ura siya, imuhang bio sa imuhang FB ba? Muna yung pangalan, yung headline, tapos imuhang kuan, imuhang bio, uh, nag, at nagtatrabaho sa puso mo works at crusty crab murag mo siya ang lead oh <laughs> unana siya no or 16 years old single mom looking for single dad something like that ana ba okay <laughs> muna siya ang lead so anyway we'll go to our new, writing the new story so we have provided here two two lecture notes the first one is this one uh, clear how to write a clear and effective news story. So, uh, when you first write a news story, you have to think first, what's the best, uh, what's the catch, what's the most catching story, anang a day, or anang ako. And that's why news, um, news writer would always run for the news. Okay, if you, if you notice, bitaw ka ng um, mga mga reporter katong gera sa Marawi nang lupad gyud bahalag mga matay na nang lupad gyud dari sa Marawi para lang maka-cover ana nga news because it's very important that you think of the catch the most catchy news nga dap nga mabasa sa kanang tawo for example katong pagkamatay ni Lloyd Cadena who would have thought nga siya mabalita siya nga namatay it would it it's a catchy news because two weeks prior, namatay si katong isa ka YouTuber pod, and it would cause boom, and it, it is it it boom like like wildfire ang balita, no? From from ABCB news hanto sa Phil Star sa Manila Bulletin sa kuan siyang mga online uh, newspaper, and it blow the news blow up in the on the internet. So mostly nowadays, the news would come from the internet, YouTube. TV, most likely maulahi ang sa TV. But writing the news is the very first thing that would pe that people would know. The written news. Not the one nga naa sa TV. Kaya maulahi na siya. Pakabantay mo ka ng 
if you subscribe to abcbnews.com, gmanews.com, sa Facebook baka, mauna ang balita kasi sa TV. So, di na kaganahan mo ito ng TV. So, wala na yung pulos niyong TV karong panahuna. No? Because it's already written. It's very important that you think clearly before you write. Because clear life writing is the result of clear thinking. No? So, you have to think beforehand what are the basic information that you have to require what who what why when where how and why for example and the good rule would be to get your readers interest lead off with something interesting and promising wind up with something you want him to remember for example uh, katong katong news about kay Lloyd Cadena Sorry about kanang kuan hai mention ako siya kay mo gusto siya pinaka latest nga mga sikat kayo nga kuan which is interesting so me dili ko ganahan anang white sun white sun nila dara sa Manila bay i don't like that that's very political anyways so according to katong news the first one that i read about Lloyd Cadena na siya sa ubos dadto sa uh, balag three paragraph siya nga lead man siya ang last paragraph is Nakilala si Lloyd Cadena sa kanyang mga blog bilang isang blah 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 ana ana siya. So that is something that people would remember about the person or who is the topic of the news. Something like that. Next. Get to the point. In news, it's very important that you get to the point. Who, what, where, when, how, and why. Those are the very important things that you have to mention in your news article. So don't, don't go round about the bush, round about the fashion. Straightly, directly, pangit ka, o pangit ka, di ba? Ano ba? No, so dili kay, ikaw ang nahimong adlaw sa akong kalibutan, apan imuhang kahayag makadaot sa akong dagway. So bati di kong naong, ano lugar? So you have to be straight to the point. Okay, straight to the point. If, if for example, um, uh, uh, for example, Katong Kang Lloyd, isang YouTuber, OG YouTuber ang namatay na nagsimula noong 2011, blah, 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 at namatay siya sa kanito, blah, blah, blah. So you have to straight to be straight to the point. Lloyd Cadena died sa 25. Period. Ano siya? It's very straightforward. News story is, differ is different from feature article. Remember that one. Okay, next. We have to... Use familiar words. Do not be too, too. Do not use figurative language. Do not use complex words such as this one. In this post, ang ending il ramanday terminate or end. For example, procure. Procure is something that we hear from companies or from management, and it's actually basically mean get or buy or go or proceed. Okay, and for example, incarcerate, 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 money, incarcerate, <laughs> meaning to say jail, facilitate, or help. For example, if you remember katong previous spokesperson ni Duterte, katong English pa ka, bitaw si, si pangalan to niya, itong niwang ba? Siya ba? Di ba? Magdugo daw ang ilong sa mga mamino sa Yaha during press con because sa Yahang laglum kaya nga di matungkad ng mga English. That's that's why. <laughs> that's why napulihan siya ni Harry Roque. Which is pang masa kayo magtagalog usahay kay kanang pang masa pang masa gid siya og mga sinoryahan kay mabash 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 na lang siya tungod sa super pagkamasa niya nga daw siya mo story yes, sa sa kuano. Taglis, usay kay taklesa siya o sahay. Muna siya ko nabantayan sa yaha. Taklesa siya o sahay. Pero most likely, ano lang, darara ko tamat kayo sa mabash po ko. Anyway, let's, uy, bari pagbidjuki. Okay. Next. Omit verbal dead wood. Okay, and sana siya. Effective writing is concise. You can be concise by dropping unnecessary words from phrases or sentences. So every word should tell and there is no reason to call a spade. For example, a long-handed instrument for turning earth in a garden. Basically, you don't use figurative language or idiom or the like. Unless otherwise, it is a very familiar, very known, very common idiom or proverb or saying and the like. Okay? And another, do not use extravagant sentences or phrases for a single word. For example, for the reason that, because Ramandi ay, 
Okay, held a conference, <laughs> met. At the present time, now, no, wala ka guan ba? Nagpahaba sa imuhang research paper. So, dili na siya yung unana, ha? Sa new story writing. Okay, in the following some samples, the underlined word should be omitted. For example, advanced prediction. Advanced na prediction pa. Grabe na yun, double kill. Na yun, fatal killing. Agoy, triple kill. Tapos, definitely decided. Kano sa mga ka na ka-indefinitely decided? Uy, ano ba? Mania. Ayun, savage siya da yun. <laughs> ano siya ba, no? For example, other al other or other alternative. O, di ba? Magkabulol-bulol ka. Other alternative. Savage. O, di ba? So, other na alternative pa. So, you had to be sure... Be concise with your words. That's a, that's a, uh, it's like an equation, but new story is equivalent to the word concise. Next, keep your sentences short. Okay, if as much as possible, say sa ka sentence, five to ten words, the better. Or dapat dili siya mo exceed sa 20 words. For example, average sentence length in words, very easy to read, eight or less. Easy, 11 or less, and very difficult is 29 or more words. Parihatong spokesperson nga si Kuan. Sa kataas yung istorya, masabta naman di ay Kuan, tinagalog. And then shorten your paragraph. Okay, basically just like... Um, just like writing your sentences, shorten your paragraph. Use specific and concrete language. Do not use figurative language, idioms, and the like. And prefer the simple to the complex one. So if you write, if you write so that you can easily be understood, prefer the simple to the complex method. Prefer the simple word to the complicated words. Prefer the simple sentences to complicated sentences. And prefer the simple paragraph to the involved one. Okay, and then lastly, be positive. Be positive. Okay, make definite assertions by following the natural order of subject, verb, object. Okay. Subject, verb, agreement, NP, VP, AP, what PP, Hanasha. Dayon, avoid avoid hesitating around about language. Like for example, with respect to the question of pets, blah 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 blah. But that could be simply say Mary had a little lamb mandiai. With respect to the question of pets, Mary exercised rights over a certain juvenile member of the sheep family. In short, Mary have a little lamp for the eye. Diba? So, pwede man siya ma-story in a very few sentences niya. Imuha pa dyan chikahon o maayo. Alright, so that is basically tips on how to write. And lastly, use active voice. Do not use the passive one. For example, uh, Congressman demanded today the firing of all Napukor official active. Compared to, the firing of all Napukor official was demanded by Congressman. Okay, it's very... Uh, unattractive and ineffective if we use passive voice in our writing, especially on the lead. And then verbs make a story sparkle. So for instance, the sentence newspaper circulation grew steadily is more brisk and vigorous means to say more stunning than the growth of newspaper circulation has been steady. Okay, so finally use verbs in active voice again. And write as you talk. A conversational tone makes for readable reading. It increases interest. It helps understanding too. So if you are a boring talker, then probably your article is as boring as well. Use adjectives sparingly. Which means to say, do not overuse using your adjectives. So properly used adjectives can help you write good reports. But too many adjectives result in rich, ornate prose that is too hard to digest and is sometimes nauseating. Nakakasuka. Nakakalabad ng ulo. Nakakahilo. Nakakamatay. Okay. And then, oftentimes... Experienced editors become suspicious when they spot adjective-laden reports because that is too romanticized and that is unbelievable. Revise and sharpen. Revising is part of writing and look for fat words that say nothing. Kana bang pampaulbo sa kuan ba sa imong article niya? Wala siya unod. 
Dayon, write to express, not to impress. In news writing, it's very important that you write about the event and the news and not about uh, how people would uh, perceive your article. And then in writing a news story, ladies and gentlemen, we have several structures. And basically, the first one is uh, the basic, what you call this, the basic, the basic, the basic, the basic, the basic um, structure of news is the inverted pyramid. I'm, I hope you answered that one in the previous quiz. Very, very basic na siya in news writing. Inverted pyramid yun ang kanang structure. The first one, the first paragraph should contain the lead which contains all the information necessary. This, the body or the, the second part of the inverted pyramid is just inf uh, additional information. And then the last one, dili siya conclusion ha. Ang last part sa mo inverted pyramid. Dili siya conclusion. Additional information lang siya. Okay? So, wala gita siya introduction, body, conclusion. Dili na nga ng inverted pyramid. Okay? Alright? Okay pa sa alright? Hello? Okay? Give me a thumbs up That's if you're fun. okay with that. Okay, so that is basically the tips. And always remember when you write a new story, it's always factual, concise, short. Short. Dili kita na mga Filipino, ha? <laughs> Hashtag cancel Korea, charot. Oh, oh, sige. <laughs> Anyways, oh, diba? There is, there is a uh, news has a very important role in our daily lives. Okay, so um, I have also included here in our lecture five B uh, different structures aside from the basic uh, news story, which is straight news, speech report code story and interview so you can just read all of those kind of structures and basically they have the same uh they have the same content or tips just that they have different kinds of structure for example in code story in code storing a new story lead quote uh information quote then quote means to say ka nang usay yung story sa imong sa katong nga person for example, kana bida makita niyo sa internet kana picture din. Harry Rocky said blah 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 na. Mo na check quote kana. Ana ba? Na ana good. Na siya. Okay, so basically they have the same content only have kanang <clears throat> ang formation ba or ang pagplaster sa mga information in the article. So you can just read lecture 5B and I will be also posting here this video which is very helpful in writing a news article using six elements. It includes writing the headlines, maklaro ba siya? Headlines, bylines, place line, the lead, the body, and the quotation. So this is for your assignment today. All right, questions so far? Questions? Questions? Wale? Wala. Yes, not a quiz. Our quiz is a writing quiz. It's not objective, delish objective quiz. It's a writing quiz in preparation for a writing workshop. I want you to um, <clears throat> look for news on the internet and how are you going to relay it in a term for students. For example, uh, how about the hashtag academic freeze? What happened to the hashtag academic freeze? What happened to cancel Korea? And so on. Pwede po itong balas sa Manila Bay. Pwede po ito siya. Kamu na bahala. Write a new story that is catchy. You can use any other structure. You can use inverted pyramid. You can use a quotation story. Anything you like. As long as it is a news story. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Okay, questions? Kamore magbot sa news, ma'am, no? Yes, kamore okay, magbot. As long as it is relevant, uh -oh. timely, sa pamanto siya ng mga elements. Concise, ma'am. Concise. Huh? Adorable, beautiful. <laughs> okay, any questions so far? We only have two minutes left. Kana time limit mong writing ng activity na mo? Wala. Wala, 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 wala. And and can I say, Ipasa, ma'am? As long as Dili siya maabdan sa next lecture, Dili po, 
Okay, it takes time. Writing takes time, really. So Monday, pa ma'am. Yes. <laughs> Writing. Ah, yes. Thank you, thank you, ma'am. Ah, oh. ma'am, ma please, ma'am. Until when, taman, ma'am? Until next lecture, Monday. lagi. Until Monday. A uh, quiz, quiz, quiz. Oh, oh, ang quiz. Yes. I will post the extra instructions in instructions after this after this uh you know virtual conference para maklear dito sa sa ubang wala dary. Okay. Okay, okay, ma'am. See you, ma'am. Thank you. All right. Okay. What else? And for the assignment, also, I will be posting also instructions on how to do your assignments. Questions so far. None, ma'am. None so far, ma'am. None so far. Okay. Thank you so much, everybody, for coming here today. I really do appreciate it. Always take care. Always pray. <laughs> always be positive, and see you next time. <laughs> bye, bye. Bye, mom. Bye, mom. Bye, mom. Bye, mom. Thank you. Bye, mom. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Shush. <laughs> <laughs>